pro boxing fans here at the Ben Davison Performance Centre uh, here with Alois Jr. Uh, we've come down to see Ben Davison and Lee Wood train. You've obviously been in the gym, so we thought we'd catch up and have a word. Firstly, how are you? I'm great, man. I've been training hard. So yeah, man, I'm very, very happy. Let's talk about yourself. Uh, two and one. I was there for your debut in, uh, in a war. Yeah, uh, it was it was crazy, man. I, I'm not. I don't think I've seen a debut like that before in my life. I've got to give it. Uh, you know, you had a lot of support. You had Anthony Yard there as well, who was supporting you throughout the whole whole thing. But just talk to me about that experience. It was a tough debut, man. Oh, fuck. what an experience! You know, I uh, I can't even put it into words at the moment. When I look back at it, it was rushed. Um, but now I'm a lot more experienced. I'm a lot more calmer. I'm a lot more older. I can take my time now. But within that yeah within that fight so much has come through my head you know uh, the introductions to the pros um, the shape of the gloves everything but it was a great experience I really enjoyed it since then obviously you picked up two wins uh, just just talk to me about obviously what you've learned obviously you said that it was a good experience but how much have you bettered yourself and how much, how much pressure is it off you now that fair enough you don't want to lose but you've, you've got that loss now um, I'm, I wouldn't say pressure because I don't believe in pressure. Pressure doesn't really exist, you know. Um, what would I say? Um, I didn't catch the last bit of your question. What, what have you learned from that? What, how has it made you better moving forward? Think more. I think a lot more before I make a decision. Even in the ring, I'll think a lot more. I'll be a bit more observant. That's the right word, observant. Ideally, uh, how many times do you want to be out this year? as many times as I can trust me man I want to be active as possible because I've got a lot in the locker you know there's, there's been a lot of talk and a lot of people have, have talked about yourself that's why it was it was quite anticipated when you fought in your call for your debut um, ideally in 12 months time what position do you want to be in um, that's a great question I need to ponder and think about that one but I want to have about 10 9 9 10 fights you know, and then looking for something, maybe a southern area. We see where we are. I'm turning 20 in April, so I'm very young, you know, so I've got a lot of time to go. Obviously, with Ben Davison here, um, how much how much are you learning with Ben right now? And Barry, uh, you know, I, I know that you've got a great stable of fighters, a few of them are here today. How much have you learned with Ben so far? Oh man, a boatload, man. I've learned so much. They are experienced trainers, phenomenal trainers. Um, I don't even know where to start, man. I've learned they, they, their insight is phenomenal. You know, they can see the small loops, the everything. You know, any mistake I make, they'll pick up on it and they'll tell me, and I'll go back home and work on it. You know. Uh, let's talk about Anthony Yard. Obviously, he was there, and you. I was actually sat next to him when uh, you fought on your debut. Uh, let's talk about his fight this weekend. Great fight against Arthur Bertabiev. First of all, let's talk about Anthony. How much of a performance was that from Anthony on the night? I personally believe that was Anthony's best performance. I honestly believe that was his best performance. He, he performed to the best of his capability, you know? So, you know, that's all he could do. Um, I believe that he needed to switch his trainer, though. But, yeah, that's all he could have done. What makes you say that? Oh. Because at times it gets kind of repetitive. You, I haven't really seen him evolve over time. Maybe after the Lyndon Arthur fight, yeah, but, you know. That's that's my perspective. That's my you know understanding. Obviously, uh, he showed that he was at world level against went toe to toe with the, the the pound pound hardest puncher in boxing right now. 19 fights, 19 KOs. Talk to me about Bert Spear. When you saw that fight, you saw that in the corner, Anthony looked like he was going to trouble him. Spun around and threw some combinations. Just talk to me about Bert Spear, man. Bert Spear is phenomenal, man. I even look up to him. I love his work rate. I love his discipline. I aim to be in his position, you know, with hard work and dedication and discipline, anyone can get it. So that's the road I'm looking towards. And the fight that a lot of people are talking about is that undisputed uh, Dimitri Bivol versus Otto Bertabia. What happens in that fight if they if they get into the ring? Oh, I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know. I would love to edge of Bertabia, you know, but I don't know. Uh, let's talk about your division, actually, the cruiserweights. Um, obviously, we know Lawrence Sokoli is up there. He's, he's signed with Sky, with Boxer. And the fight that looks like it's going to get made at some point this year is our fight with Richard Riakpo. Obviously, both uh, London boys. Um, I'm sure you've seen a few uh, a few fights from each fighter. What happens in that fight? I wouldn't be shocked if 
Rapo okay. gets it. Okay. I wouldn't be shocked if Rapo rap gets it, but then again, Lawrence Sicoli's um, inside work, the way he holds, he's very, very strong on the inside, so that may throw off Richie Rapo. So we've got to see. You've got a, a booming cruiserweight division, uh, especially when you go from, from the bottom up, you've got people like Vidal Riley who's still laying in the game and, you know, producing on the night. People like yourself, and then when you look at the top, you got Lawrence Sicoli, React Paul, Chris Bill and Smith. So it's it's a good division to be in right now. Absolutely, man. I'm happy where I'm happy with this division. I believe I can be on top, and I'll be working every day to be on top. Final one for myself uh, for people that want to follow the journey. Uh, what's your social media? Where we can follow you? Um, Alois the Animal on all social media, so on Twitter, on uh, Instagram as well. So, man, really, it's always a pleasure to talk to yourself. Good luck for, for your next bout. And uh, no doubt we'll speak to you very soon. Thank, Thank you very much. You.